plaintiff, Scott Hall, says the defendant is his neighbor, and he's dating a 45-year-old cougar who sunk her claws into him. Scott claims after the defendant falsely accused him of sleeping with his girlfriend, he damaged Scott's motorcycle, so he's suing. Defendant Ryan Decker says Scott has some nerve criticizing his girlfriend, considering Scott had sex with her. Ryan is countersuing for pain and suffering due to an assault. Start with you. Uh, I know Ryan for Ryan Decker for over a year. Uh, he smokes, drinks, sleeps all day. Um, How do you know that? Because he's my neighbor. Okay. What do you do all day? I work spying so on how do you? Yeah, spying on your neighbor if you know all of what he does all day. But go ahead. Uh, he pursued a 45-year-old Kruger that sunk her closet and never left. Oh, uh, gotcha. Is this the lady with us today? Is this, yes. All right. Go ahead. Um, he thinks I slept with his fiance. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that. Um, I heard it from his uh, best friend that he slept with her. And you ask her? Yes, I did. Did she admit it? No. She says you she You think did. she's lying to you? <laughs> yeah. She's shaking her head. You are lying? <laughs> oh, I thought I saw you. Hit. Thought out the corner of my eye. I saw you shaking your head. Yeah. Even though you think she's lying, you kind of let it go? Yeah, we're working through it. All right. How are you working through it? This is her only way of working through it is to say no. So what more work is she doing? Uh, You're the one working through it mentally, I suppose. Yeah. She's much. not. Did you ask her about the circumstances and try and pick through them? Yeah, I didn't really go, go that far into it. All yeah. right, good. Well, some folks turn their head to it, and if that's the way you want to handle it, um, then more power to you. All right, tell me about that. I'll leave all that alone unless you want to testify, ma'am. You want to testify? They're talking about you. You're a big subject of this conversation. <laughs> you going to do what you usually say, huh? No. <laughs> yeah. right. that's, that's your thing. That's your word, and you're sticking with that yes. word. That's right. <laughs> Everything associated with you, no. no. <laughs> Don't know nothing about it. All right, sir, tell me about the, the lawsuit. Um... He video called me when me and my wife were uh, in Florida vacationing, and he said, this is what Is your wife with you? Yes. Yes. All right. And this is did what Did she believe you did it, or you admitted that you did it? Were you saying it now? No, I would never sleep with that, Your Honor. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Um, he video chatted us in June, Watch saying this is what problem. happens. This is what happens for when you sleep with my fiance. He showed me my bike, my motorcycle, and he pushed it over. Okay. I did. Mm -hmm. Do it again. Show me the damages. And oh, if you're you in the if you're in the beardly women, you can have all that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave all these personal insults to y'all. <laughs> all right. And so he agreed to pay. Yes. Um. When we got back from Florida, we, I went over there and had him sign mm -hmm. that agreement that he would pay pay the damages yeah. for my bike. Thirty nine seventy five. Defendant Ryan Decker claims the plaintiff, who is his neighbor, had sex with Ryan's 45-year-old girlfriend. Sir, what do you say to this? Um, I signed it under duress. He came into my house and actually broke into my room. I had the door locked and everything. He slapped me across my bed and- You're lying. Did you call the police? No. <clears throat> Why'd you run in the room in the first place? Uh, cause I heard pounding on my door and, you know, I could hear them yelling and, you know. What did you think was going to happen? I wasn't sure at okay. that point, sir. All right. And so when you were locked in the room, though, and he was banging, you should have been sure then that he wasn't coming in to have prayer with you, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you thought locking yourself in the room at first was for what reason again? <laughs> To resolve conflict, you know, to not... What conflict did you think was going to occur? Well, you know, I expected to get my face beat in for pushing this bike right. over. that's my point. So why wouldn't you call the police? If a person expects to get their face beat in, they run into the house and they lock the door while someone is banging on the door. You expect to get your face beat in. That's why you have run into the I had to closet. call the cops why after. Would, oh, you did? Yeah. You're so fearful. You run in and you lock yourself in your room and you just shake and hope and pray. 
But you say, I'll wait until he does my face in before I call the police. <laughs> I know he's out there banging. I'm hiding in my room because he said that's what he's going to do, and I believe it. But I'll wait until he does that before I call the police. Not, police, could you get over here? A uh, man is banging at the door. He wants to come in and beat my face in, and I'm hiding in my room. Please get here as soon as possible. That's what people do when they fear that someone is coming to beat their face in. But tell me about the money. He is suing you and he says you signed this agreement to pay him. I did, sir. Okay, and you say it's because he was because he He was banging at the door? Okay, so you signed it how long after coming out of the room? Um ten, fifteen minutes. Okay. And you say he did hit you? Yes, sir. At what point? Uh, as mm-hmm. soon as he came through my my door, he I mean, slapped the out of me. Okay, Sorry. You're, don't curse in here. Yes, sir. All right. I don't want you to get slapped in here <laughs> <laughs> by him. All right. Um, and you called the police and filed a report. You have that with you? I do not. Okay. I have the, oh. Why not? I didn't. I, we moved. We lost our place just before, you know. But you did file a report. I didn't file a report wow you told me that afterwards you did call the police he he took my phone from me no, when you, i didn't I'm call going by what you just told me you said after i said did you call the police why didn't you cry i called afterwards you don't remember telling me that yes sir you were lying <laughs> no See, that wasn't a slip of the tongue like in a uh, no or yes. That was a intentional uh, remark that you had to think of and deliver. Not a mistake. So why didn't you tell me something that you knew to be untrue? So any other defense to this? No, sir. All right. Judging for the plaintiff, your claim was dismissed, of course. Uh, we can't believe anything you say. Have a good day. Uh, Scott's always going to be a bully, you know, it's whatever. I believe it's just because Ryan is insecure about himself and he's scared that my aunt is pursuing my husband. Um, none of it ever happened because I didn't, I I wouldn't sleep with her. For him to push my bike over. You're still